Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds, and this brew does not look good. You're going to get a bunch of general information when you see brewed like this, and it really depends because this is not European foul brewed causing this. This is not any uh, pesticide or any type of herbicide or anything crazy like that. It's just lack of good bee coverage. Now, when you have stressed out larvae, I am sure that EFB and other things can impact it after it's been stressed out. In my opinion, this is mine, and I, I argue with people about this a lot, EFB is a little overrated. You need good genetics, and you need good bee coverage. And if you have an issue with it, I, I firmly believe you can use the combs afterwards. But we're really not here to talk about EFB. We'll do that in another video. This is terrible bee coverage. And what I've done is I made a split with some extra cells that I had. And I took one frame of brood and a frame of a comb with a little bit of food on it. And I threw it in here. Well, there's not many bees left. Now, this right here is a donor frame. So don't look at that one right there. But we've got this frame and we've got this frame. This is one I'm given from a bigger colony. It's got a lot of captive brood that's hatching out. I'm throwing in those nurse bees. I'm going to shake those at the front or in the side over here and let them walk over. This colony has a brand new queen. She's not even two weeks old. Let's see if we can find her. That's my hive tool over by the house. Well, they got plenty of food in this frame, but see, that's just not really great bee coverage, and they don't have a whole lot of foragers either. Uh, where's that queen? There she is, the bottom left. And she is gorgeous. So you're thinking, oh, there's something wrong with my queen. No. Poor bee coverage is all this is. It takes hundreds and hundreds of feeding visits per larvae. So if she's laying 1,500 eggs, right now she's young, she can't help but lay. Just like, oh, I haven't posted that video yet, but I've got one where one of our queens is laying like three and a couple other eggs in a cell. And so, uh, you know, a young queen just has to lay. They just, they just can't hardly help it. So these bees just can't keep up with the feeding requirements. Plus, they don't have a lot of foragers, so they're not getting the nutrition in. They're, they don't have the coverage. They're not getting the feeding done. And because of that, the larvae suffers and dies. Now, a colony like this, left unchecked, is eventually going to keep going back hill, downhill, back hill, over hill, under hill, all that stuff. And then they are going to succumb to small high beetles and then slime out time. Ruined comb, lost queen, lost all that potential right there. So, again, what we're going to do is give them better bee coverage. Now... There are times when you have disease problems, but we are going to talk a lot about this. We've got so much to cover, so stick around. We have virus uh, things to talk about. They're not covered often enough. They can cause your brood to look really weird like that. Ah, it feels good. And there's European fowl brood, and there's poor bee coverage. There's all of these things that can impact your bees and make a great queen or a good potential hive not be able to take off. I and mean, that's just, there's just not enough bee coverage. That's all that is. So now, we're gonna give them a little bit of feed, and then we are going to give them all of these nurse bees right here, and all that hatching out brood right there. Once that hatches out, they're gonna have thousands more bees because of what we give them, and they are going to be just fine. So when you see this, don't always assume that you have a disease I personally think it, they have signs of European fowl brood because they're, the larvae is just nutritionally, uh, you know, they just, they, they don't, they're not getting nutrition. They're just not enough bees. So anyways, just keep an eye out for that. And if you have any comments or questions about seeing this, because I'm sure you are, it could be viruses because the mites are too high. It could be because there's not enough good coverage or you could have European fowl brood, which I think is a genetic problem. Thanks for watching our videos.